In this video, we'll look at whether copper 2 chloride, that's CuCl2, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So to do that, we need to understand the equation that produced the copper 2 chloride, the neutralization reaction. So here we have copper 2 hydroxide, that's our base, we see the OH in there, and hydrochloric acid, that H alerts us to that this is probably an acid. So then we have our copper 2 chloride and then water. So this is a neutralization reaction. After we have the equation, we need to figure out the strength of the acid and base involved. So this chart is really useful. This is a good one to memorize. We look at the chart and for copper 2 hydroxide, we don't see that on our list of strong bases. So this is going to be a weak base. Hydrochloric acid though, right here, that's a strong acid. A little essay up there to remember. So now we know the strength of the acid in the base. Once we know that, we can look at the rules here. So we have a weak base and a strong acid. Here's a strong base, weak base, strong acid. pH should be less than 7. That means it's going to be acetic. So in answer to our question, whether copper 2 chloride, CuCl2, is acetic, basic, or neutral in water, it's going to be acetic according to our rules here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.